We all want fair skin. Hydrated, bouncy, glossy. But can an average person like me ever reach the clear, healthy, glass skin standard? What do some people know that most of us don't? So I tried to figure out the answer in case there's a secret formula for the perfect, juiciest skincare routine that could actually show some results within 30 days. But there was a problem. Not all skin types are the same, so in reality, a perfect skincare routine that fits all does not exist. If you want clear skin, stop doing everything everyone else is doing. Because nobody knows what they are doing, unless they are a doctor. Firstly, we want to figure out what your skin type is. Is it dry? Is it oily? Is it something in between? Do you want to deal with acne or you have wrinkles? But what's crazy is that no matter what your skin type is, you'll only need three skincare products. First, you want to start with cleansing your face to remove all the dirt and oil before we do anything else with it. It helps to unclog your pores and prevent breakouts. In general, experts recommend washing your face twice a day, preferably with lukewarm water, and then later rinse with cold water. In case you do wear makeup, use an oil-based cleanser to dissolve all the makeup, followed by a water-based cleanser to get rid of all the impurities. We don't want to overwash your face. Overwashing can lead to dryness, irritation, and other issues. Also, you don't want to scrub too hard or use harsh cleansers containing sulfates or rinse your face with hot water. These would remove your skin's natural oil and make your skin look flaky and dry. The next step is to hydrate your skin, for which we use a moisturizer twice a day. If your skin loses moisture, it can become dry and inflamed. A good moisturizer is lightweight, fragrance-free, non-greasy, and rehydrates your skin making it look plump and smooth. Look for ingredients like ceramides, glycerin, and hyaluronic acid. The third step is to use a sunscreen. The more UV light we're exposed to without protection, the more we get wrinkles and dark spots from the DNA mutation. And that DNA mutation can also lead to skin cancer, which you don't want. Skin exposed to sunlight without protection look something like this in the long run so do yourself a favor and get yourself a good broad spectrum sunscreen of spf 30 or higher that feels comfortable enough on your skin without making you look like a pale creepy ghost and use it daily irrespective of if you're going outside or not we don't really need to actually burn for the sun to damage our skin and cause aging it's probably happening even right now unless it's night and there's no sun right now. For legal reasons, I have no idea where you live at. So that's pretty much it. Cleanse, moisturize, and apply sunscreen. But if you want to add something, try retinoid. It makes most people's skin look younger, smoother, and healthier. In general, if you follow these three steps, that should be enough for a clear skin, right? Or is it? Your skincare routine beyond this will vary depending on your skin type. For dry skin, using a hydrating moisturizer, toner, and serum can be a great way to add moisture and nourishment to your dry skin and make it look more glossy and juicy. Ingredients to look for while choosing a serum for dry skin include hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, glycerin, ceramides, vitamin E, and rose water. For oily skin, you should look for ingredients like salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid, retinol, which can help regulate oil production, prevent breakouts, and improve the overall health of your skin. For skin prone to acne, consider using ingredients like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, vitamin A. These work to unclog pores, prevent breakouts, and dissolve blackheads over time. For acne, you should always avoid scrubbing your face or using harsh products on your skin. Instead, look for gentle creamy cleansers to reduce inflammation. Also, avoid touching your face or washing your face too often. In for God's sake, don't pop those pimples. For wrinkles, vitamin A compounds such as retinol, retinoic acid, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C. In case you didn't notice, aloe vera is good for all skin types. It is 98% water and rich in vitamin A, C, and E, which are all potent antioxidants. Aloe vera is a natural source of salicylic acid. It helps in preventing breakouts and also lightening acne scars. Also, hyaluronic acid is suitable for all skin types too. It instantly hydrates your skin, makes it plump, reduces fine lines, makes your skin smooth and subtle, and has anti-aging benefits too. In case anybody is confused for which products to go, for these two can single-handedly game up your skin glow. Also guys, this is just a list of ingredients you can use. Less is more when it comes to skin. You don't need 10 different products. At max, 5 is good. 
Also, please start with lower concentrations and gradually use a higher concentration product. Starting with a higher concentration for the first time can irritate your skin and make it more sensitive. Toners, essence, and serums aren't really necessary unless you like to use them. But serums, though optional, are often a good first step in leveling up your skincare routine and boosting your skin health. They are shots of concentrated nutrients and antioxidants and will make your skin more radiant, reduce fine lines and brighten dark spots over time. But wait, wait a minute! The perfect skincare routine could never end with just throwing products on your face and rinsing them off. For real change, you need the actual secret formula to glowing skin. Which is sleeping at least 8 hours a day, drinking plenty of water every day, exercising enough so that you can sweat all those toxins away, eating a balanced diet, and not stressing over life in general. Hey, that's kinda hard. Anyways, most skin problems root from eating too much fried food, junk food, processed food. So if your diet is messed up lately, we have something to work on there. But let me remind you something. The person on the screen right now is the most beautiful person on earth. Subscribe!